Well, good evening, everybody. We've got some pretty quiet conditions out there. Sky Tracker bouncing around a little bit, still indicating some modest breezes at times, but our skies are actually pretty clear currently, and temperatures are on their way down from a pretty warm high that we had earlier today. But aside from that, we've got a good look at those quiet conditions here thanks to the Sky Tracker network. Switching over to satellite and radar, you can see this is a 36 hour satellite loop showing off a lot of rain getting started off to our west and pushing through our viewing area, including almost every Every single county here in West Texas getting uh, at least close to a thunderstorm, if not having one thunderstorm placed overhead yesterday afternoon. Very active day, a lot of severe thunderstorm warnings were in effect earlier, but now things are a lot quieter. We did have a storm earlier this evening tracking through Terrell County. It looks like that one on its way out right now. Even the cloud cover resulting from that storm is pretty much working its way out. And that energy that we saw responsible for those thunderstorms now tracking through eastern Texas. Texas, kicking up some thunderstorm activity. than what we saw yesterday. Now we do have a small chance for some thunderstorms down to the southeastern edge of Texas, but here in West Texas, we're looking great. We're not seeing any chances for thunderstorms for the rest of this evening. Everything kind of winds to risk issued by the Storm Prediction Center off to our north and east. Now that's stage three out of five, which actually is pretty high up on that scale. And that means we could be dealing with a chance for some isolated tornadoes within this orange zone. Now we could see that updated as we get to tomorrow. We could see that expand a little bit. It is pretty close to us here in West Texas, especially in the northeastern edge of the basin. But either way, as it sits right now, we do have a slight risk for a lot of the eastern part of the basin and the southern Transpacus surrounded by a little bit of marginal risk. That'll give us a chance here in West Texas for some hailstorms, some damaging winds. Of course, localized flooding, also a concern of ours just about any time it rains. And as we get to tomorrow afternoon, we do have a pretty good chance in Odessa Midland to see some of those thunderstorms. High temperatures picking up into the 90s again for tomorrow, so it's going to be another pretty warm day. And that's one of the ingredients that we need for thunderstorms to develop. The other ingredient that we need is moisture, and you can see that. A lot of cloud cover already pushing in from the south and east to provide us with a lot of that moisture. As that moisture and heat mingle together, could give us a chance for some of those thunderstorms to pop up. By about 1 p.m., this model already placing the uh, seeds, I guess you could say, of those thunderstorms popping up right along the I-10 corridor near Fort Stockton and Pecos. As we get further into the afternoon by about 2, 3 p.m., we'll start to see some of those thunderstorms intensifying, moving through parts of the southern and central basins as well as the Trans-Pecos. And as those storms continue to push off to the east, they are going to intensify pretty significantly. Now, the good news is compared to yesterday, these thunderstorms are going to be moving out much, much earlier in the day than what we had for yesterday. This model projecting most of that activity to have pushed off to the east outside of our view area as early as about 8, 9 p.m. So I'll keep my fingers crossed on that one. But either way, as we head into the overnight hours tomorrow into Thursday, we're going to see some pretty quiet conditions. We just have to get through tomorrow afternoon first. We do have a slight risk as it stands right now by the Storm Prediction Center for a lot of the eastern basin as well as the southern Transpecos. That indicates a chance for hailstorms and some damaging winds as well as localized flooding. And I'll give Odessa Midland a 70% shot at getting some of those thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. Highs picking up to 92 tomorrow, 93 on Thursday. Rain chances dropping down to 20% just for some isolated showers here in Odessa Midland. But those rain chances do return on Friday. 60% chance for thunderstorms there. Going to be a sunny day until those storms pop up. So I'll keep my eyes on Friday. Either way, Katie, looks like it's setting us up for a pretty mild weekend once again. Yeah, and tomorrow could be another busy day for you, Chase. That's right. Yeah, 70% chance to see some of that. I've got my work cut out for me. Yes. I should be leaving pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> you sure do. I know you'll keep us updated.